Say wolves. Okay, not wolves. Uh, bears. Oh. What about ghosts? Oh, please! Bears or ghosts? That's an interesting question, Bouncer, but I'm afraid I don't have the time to answer it. Cam's got tickets to an exclusive press screening of a Hollywood blockbuster, and I have to choose what to wear. <laughs> Come on, Tracy, big smile over here. Yeah, Tracy. 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 And tonight's premiere will star Tracy's mom. Oh yeah, Adele told me to tell you that Duke told her that Cam rang and she can't make it. What? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I'm not really that bothered. Um, I hate limos and tiaras and movie stars. It's all so phony. Yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. 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 Why did you stand me up? Oh, look, I'm sorry. Me too. What's going on? Tracy, I'm ill. I've got a headache that feels like there's a car alarm going off inside my head. My stomach won't stop. Ugh. And a temperature. I feel awful. All oh, right. Oh, dear, Cam. Well, I suppose it's lucky I've come round. You're going to get the full big service. Oh, no, Tracy. Thanks, but what I really need is some rest. Look, I will see you when I'm better, OK? Right, bed. I need blankets, medicines and home comforts. Grab all you can of yours and then we'll raid the dumping ground. Of course Cam needs my help. She just hasn't realised it yet. She doesn't have faith in the skills of Dr Beaker. Tracy, what? You would need looking after. I've searched the internet and checked the medical dictionary. You've either got an Amazonian stomach snake or most likely flu. But just to be on the safe side, I'm prescribing bed rest, a nice warm, even temperature, plenty of liquids, light vitamin filled meals, and plenty of sleep. And a chocolate bar you can use as a desk. But Tracy, I'm all right. I don't need your help. I just need quiet. OK. Don't need my help? I'll go. She's delirious. Oh. Oh, yes. Come on, he's got it! I don't care what the story is, I want it back now! What? The present from my aunt? My chocolate bar? It's pretty hard to lose, so who's got it? Oh, I get it. I get the blame for everything. Has anyone noticed that Tracy's been around borrowing and stealing anything she can? She took my pillow and Duke's plant. Nothing. She's probably taken it wherever she's gone, so she can eat it all in one go and get rid of the evidence. Who's going to tell Jenny? No one. Walking furniture. Moving cereal. There's something bigger going on than chocolate theft. And I just need a chance to solve the mystery of... Night Stalker? Mm. Night Stalker? 
Yeah, I like it. Count me in. The Night Stalker's gonna get stalked. Great. I think we're all gonna sleep safer in our beds tonight. <clears throat> Hi there. Um, I'm here to see the um, person in charge. Be Mr. Byron. Special delivery for Mr. Byron. Hello. Can I help? Yes. I've got the next children's bestseller here for you. You can read it if you like, but I advise you to just start the adverts now and put it in the bookshops as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm a typical kid, you see, and I completely loved it. The Night Stalker's obviously taking the night off. The Night Stalker? Have you got the cricket bat? I thought you were going to use it. You just asked for it. I just wanted to make sure you had it. Yeah, I've got it, but... Ah! Keep the noise down, boys. The Night Stalker might hear you. <laughs> Funny. He was like the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was just putting it on to fool you. Looks like it worked a treat. If you weren't sleepwalking, how come you didn't do anything when we put that necklace on you? Yeah, girls, you really put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that was really stupid. I used to sleepwalk, and you're not meant to do anything that might wake a sleepwalker, right, Duke? That's right. <laughs> You need vitamin C. Thank you for submitting your manuscript, but I'm afraid it's not for us. It's a bargain okay. price. My foster mother's ill in bed, but she's a really successful writer. So we need something with a bit more pizzazz. Tracy. Oh, hi, Cam. Feeling better? Tracy, this is a rejection for my children's book. Really sorry, Cam. For sale? Then not next time. The children's book I never sent out because it's not finished. Well, if I don't do things for you, you never get anything done. Tracy, don't push it. The only other person who's been this interfering was my mum, and that's why I left home when I was 15. Well, at least I'm trying to look after you, which is more you ever did for me. Hey, I did try. It just didn't work out, that's all. OK. Well, you're not my mum, and I'm not yours. So just leave it at that. Anyone want clothes? Tracy's just had a big clear out at Cam's and I've got some for my fashion project on the hideous <gasps> 80s. Wow. Look at And you should see the stuff Tracy's taking Cam. This mountain of fruit and like the biggest bar of chocolate you've ever seen. Did you just say chocolate? I still can't believe Tracy nicked my chocolate. Well, I haven't tried anyone with hair like that. Hey, Abby, guess what? Um, I was gonna tell you I found it in Tracy's room. Yeah, right. Show you. You chocolate thief! Oh. Hi, Cam. Hello, Tracy. I just want to say about everything I did. The books, the clothes, the oranges, the chocolates. Well, actually, that was Ben, but everything else. Yep. I wanted to say I'm not sorry. Not sorry. No, I was trying to do my best for you. And I'll always look out for you and help you out and do anything I can do, so I'm not sorry. Right. Great. Well, you were wrong. And you stuck your oar in and you tried to take over my whole life and got it all wrong. So, non-apology not accepted. OK. Good. 
Right, well now we haven't got that sorted, I've got some tickets to another press screening and everyone else I asked said no. Well, then I suppose I can squeeze it into my schedule. Excellent. And you'll be pleased to hear I've replenished my wardrobe from a charity shop. I'm sure you'd be delighted to be seen with me wearing this. Don't wake the sleepwalker. Dangerous to wake the sleepwalker. Nice try, Bouncer. But people who are sleepwalking don't generally get the high score on death raid. Louise, go on, a bit more, a bit more. <coughs> that piece is tiny. I oh, know, but if I do it like that, it will last and last. <sighs> what was that? Let's go and see. <laughs> I know. Quiet, Louise. Ow! Just in shot. Ow! Oh. Stop. Stop, Louise. Justine. Louise. Justine. Louise. Justine. Low. Let's get him. I can't believe this has happened. Where am I? Why are you two so wet? No. This is so weird. I'm so sorry. No! How do you annoy an adult? Watch and learn. Hi, I was here first. I fancy that breakfast. No. I never heard you. That's because you were still stuck under your duvet. No, hey, say you. you for the big uh, game. No. If anyone starts fighting, stays here. Now, I worked hard to get you on this adventure day for deprived city kids, so let's start acting more deprived city kid and less cocky. I'm looking forward to my first sheet. Now, see, that's the sort of thing. Right, just Tracy, as usual. Uh um, it's Lara Croft. Oh, shut it, Justine. Do we need the rope? Yes, we do. It pays to be prepared. That's what my mum always says. Here we go. My mum's explored the world, actually. She's taken me to places that aren't on any map. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the line, Tracy. But what if I need to rescue someone from quicksand? Yeah, fair point. Exactly. Oh, I'm sure you don't want to come. You organised it. Well, someone's got to hold down the fort, and you know, I've got some paperwork to do, so. Are you ready, kids? Bye, Jenny. Yeah, Jenny, I hope I don't ever see you again. I'm not going to be able to Bye. Bye. Yes! I hold it myself. And it was worth it. Is this a... It's just some field in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, not exactly Alton Towers, is it? Well, come on. Let them know we're here. Uh, hey! Is it something you put in their cornflakes? No, they're just like little spring lambs. Oh. You must be the lot from Stowey House. Ready for action? <laughs> oh. I was thinking you'd all be boys. Oh, of course, girls get put in. I mean, anyone can end yeah, up in... well, uh, hello <laughs> to you two. <laughs> Welcome. How do you? This is Nathan. Gordon. Gordon Hadley. Farmer, man and boy. We aim to provide new experiences for people who hardly ever get into the country. And this here is your field of dreams. Let's start with the assault course. Assault course? Wicked. My son Warren built it. Now, don't you worry your pretty heads. There's something for everyone. There's an animal petting enclosure and pony rides. Oi, we can go on the assault course too, thank you. Yeah. 
Is it very dirty? Oh, do me a favour. Yeah, you have to be well fed. <laughs> you get out of breath watching the football on telly. We'll be in a girls' team and beat you. I'm afraid there's, uh, it's only built for two to go round at a time. Well, me and Louise will be on a team. Well, Adele and I will beat you easy. Um, wait a minute. I want to see the animals. Have you got sheep? Uh, I'll get Warren to show you. I'll just sort these two out. Right. Come on, on your feet. Out here, we lead by example. Now, I'm timing you! After the beat, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. Jenny, hi, it's Elaine. Hello, Jenny, are you there? Can you pick up, please? I, my battery's running low, and I really need to speak to... Ke Kevin, can you put those down, please? Did you... did you swallow one of those? Kevin, can you put them down? No, now why should I suffer when they're off having Thank fun? You. Jenny, if you get this message, can you call me straight back? Thank you. Come on, find the inner you that just won't give in. The enemy will be the outer me in a minute. <laughs> Trouble beating that, even the girls. You can hold him. And don't be shy. Oh, he's so cute. Isn't he? This is a private pet, and can anyone join in? Adele, this is Warren. Hi. He's showing me his rabbit. Hey, rabbit Warren. <laughs> <laughs> he's showing me loads of animals, but these are all babies here. Where are the grown up ones? Ah, uh, well, um. Uh, you do know what happens on a farm, right? Of course, the farmer milks the cows and grows stuff. Yeah, and? Okay, what about sausages? Burgers? Chicken nuggets? Where do you think they all come from? Everyone knows that, silly. A packet. Dolly, they all come from a farm like this. Anyway, where's the rest of your lot? They're all killing themselves over on the assault course. Great. Built it myself. Did you? I'm personally dying to try it out. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take you round if you like. Cool. Maybe you can show me the farm first. Yeah. Go on, quick. You're free now. Don't worry. I'll rescue your friends quick before they make you into rabbit nuggets. Don't forget, I'm timing this. I'll send you off staggered. Right. First team, go! Go on, Bouncer! Go on, Bouncer! Oh, Bouncer, go on! Go on, city kids. I'll never keep it up. How do you know? Because I picked the other end of the tunnel now. Bye. Heck. Crazy. Ever oh. start again? No. We'll get it later. Okay. Right. Next team. Go. Go on, Tracy. Through the head, Tracy. Go Over on. the head. Over the head, Tracy. Right, uh, last team. Go. Racy Beaker! That's a sort out, Tracy. Yeah, good thinking. <laughs> Don't just stand there daydreaming. You're not hanging around on street corners now. You're working as a team. Come on, up and over. That guy's a nutter. Yeah. Come on! Oh. I'll give you a leg up. No, I'll give you a leg up. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks very much! Freaky! Louise? Oh. Well, I 
was only trying to keep my top clean. There. And I haven't got anything to worry about, have you? Come on. <laughs> Snowy House. Oh, hello, Elaine. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was out earlier. Today? Well, I guess I... I am... Um, hang on. Lol! Bouncer is not a punch bag. Sorry about this, Elaine. Will someone take those scissors off Dolly? Tracy, put that fish back in the fish tank! It's getting a bit crazy around here, Elaine. Can I speak to you later? OK, bye. Day on my own. It's not too much to ask. Not half bad. Have I just beat us? Oh, hello, Flopsy. Oh. Hey? <laughs> the animals! Here. Warren! Warren! on purpose, or you're just plain stupid? I know what you do, Nugget Man! Hey, What do you know about a farm? You city kids don't know the half of it! Leave her alone! You're just a big bully, but I'm not scared of you. I did it, all right? I let the animals out. So what are you going to do about it? Dad, it's OK. Just, just help me round them up, eh? I'm not finished with you. Thanks, you were scary. That's right. Elaine, what are you doing here? You sounded terribly stressed on the phone. I thought I'd pop in and see what I could do. That's so kind. Don't mention it. We professional women, we have to stick together. <laughs> <laughs> but, Lucy, the thing is, Nathan and Duke, they've taken all the kids out, you know, to save me from, you know, losing my mind and everything. So. Oh, Jenny. You deserve a medal, you really do. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. OK. Bye. Oh. I just thought... <laughs> this is perfect. What is? I've got all these case notes to go through and there won't be anybody here to disturb us. Unleash your true potential. <laughs> Oi! Sorry, mate, but you just need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tour. No problem. And remember, call me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay now, people, let's go. Wait! That wildcat and the frizzy hair aren't a word with her. We hope you've enjoyed today. We aim to provide new experiences for people who hardly ever leave the country. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>